Welcome to the Conscious Radio Network's YouTube channel. Become enlightened, have fun, and tell all your friends and family to share with everyone they know. You can find us on Facebook and stay up to date on our Facebook group, or find us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Our podcast can be found on Libsyn, iHeart, Spotify, Google Podcast, and more. Most of all, remember to go to our official website at ConsciousRadioNetwork.com for podcasts, posts, future shows, and scheduling. We also want to welcome our international audience. Don't stop now and join the community. Subscribe today. This is the Conscious Radio Network. Good uh, morning, afternoon, evening, or wherever you are on the spaceship we call Earth. Welcome to Conscious Radio Network's weekly podcast series, The Weekly Seance. I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Paul Meckes. If this is your first time tuning in, please click, click subscribe, like, share, and comment. Also, follow us on any podcast that you listen to. Anyway, yes, today... We have artist, intuitive healer, alchemist, and messenger, Siobhan Mays. Since childhood, she has been an intuitive and received messages. In 2000, she decided to deepen her connection with the divine by attending a four-year mastery school and several 14-day retreats focused on the heart, seer, and shadow. Let's welcome to the show for the first time, Siobhan. <laughs> Hello, thank you very much for that lovely introduction. Wonderful Greetings, to be friend. with you today. <laughs> it is a wonderful day, wonderful day. A storm just passed through. I was hoping, please pass, <laughs> please pass before the show, because that, that, exactly. that just opens up the door to so many issues. So <laughs> the gods have listened. Yeah, we, we, had a, we had a huge rainstorm here also. I was hoping we would lose power. <laughs> yeah. We're good, though. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> So, and it's a mystery uh, school, not mastery school. Mastery, there you go. Well, uh, mastery mystery. The mystery of mastery. Mastery mystery, that's right. <laughs> yep, that's my dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto. Yep, yeah, reading too fast, talking too fast. My brain is always moving quicker than my mouth. <laughs> so, we're all guilty of that. We are all guilty of that. So um, so this, how did how did this all start for you? How did you get into this? Thanks for asking. Um, it came out of mystery school. At the end of mystery school, you give gifts to your fellow, sco fellow scholars. You can buy them or make them, and I made them. I channeled artwork. And, um, you know, it was fun to do. It was like, oh, my God. Uh, but the most amazing thing was the impact it had when they received the, their gift. Uh, and this was back in 2003, 2005, so about 20 years ago, um, is when I started doing what I now call tokens from the universe. And I, I was really moved by the impact it had. They felt seen. They felt recognized. One gal said I was going to fight whoever. If you gave that to somebody else, I was going to fight them for it. Yeah. So uh, a couple of years ago, I decided to start offering my service, images and symbols and messages for people to help illuminate their path. Um, you know, I'd been kind of resistant. I went back to computer science after mystery school and, you know, said, eh, any, eh. but in you know, like 2020, 2019, I decided I, I'm going to throw my hat over the cliff and start doing readings for people and yeah. um, see what symbols come in for them and what the messages are for them and if it's valuable to them. And um, my intention is to be a bridge, to shine a spotlight um, on the message they need to hear, help them on their path in their growth maybe recognize and acknowledge something about them or, or maybe connect them with their spirit team. Like they knew they had an angel, but they didn't know what, or you know, a, a guide, but what was the guide? Yeah. So my intention is to help people with a deeper understanding of their self. And that's how it all started with back in mystery school. And, um, and some of, some of these symbols that come through the paintings, and that's what's so enlightening about the work that you do. I can be a testimony as well is that the symbols that come through the painting, um, the spirits, spirit or spirits that speak to you, 
um, and that you channel while you're doing these paintings um, is incredible. I mean, this, this, is, this is an awesome modality and a very unique, very personal, and very intimate um, token for those who seek your services. Thank you. Very I good. never know what's going to come through. When, when somebody sits down with me, like when I sat down with you, you sat down with me. <laughs> yeah. I never know what's going to come through. I, I, I create backgrounds. Um, all the backgrounds are channeled, and then my client picks their background. They pick their 8 by 10 canvas, 9 by 12 or 6 by 6 yeah. um, paper card dock. And I sit there, and I receive symbols. I connect to your higher self, and, and I get images. And the spirit is so funny they, and has a sense of humor. They only give me one piece at a time, and until I draw that piece, I don't get the next piece. And sometimes they'll show me something, like one time I saw a wolf. I'm like, okay, put the paint on the brush, meant to draw a wolf and put whiskers down. I'm like, that is not a wolf. <laughs> and go, yeah, but tell your client there's a wolf there and there's also a cat. I'm like, okay, sure, can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, oh, wow. and then spirit doesn't tell me with a meaning yeah. um, of the symbol. Like for you, do you, I don't know if you have your symbol available. Um, um, I do. I do. Let me. Let me bring that up. And so, let's see. So I will bring up uh, my painting. So while he's here. bringing it up, there was this portal that came in. So the first thing that came in was this was this circle and this lavender sky and this turquoise kind of ground with this un unusual sun. And then I saw a dragon, and um, I didn't couldn't draw the dragon wing, so he got a cloak. And I'm like, when I'm done with the picture, and I, I, I'll ask my clients for what's the message. I'll ask the painting and, and spirit, what's the message? Yeah. And, and, and what is this? And the spirit said to me, um, excuse me, I have a hair on my mouth. Um, the spirit said to me, oh, ask him if he's had an ET experience. I'm like, you're kidding <laughs> me. You want me to ask him if he's had an Yep, yep, ask him that. See if he's had a UFO or an ET experience. I'm like, okay, take a deep breath, Shimon. <laughs> I mean, that's not a common question to ask your clients. Excuse yeah. me, do you have do you have experience in the other realm? <laughs> and it turned out this was a guide of yours that you didn't you've been wanting to see an image of the guide, if I remember yeah. correctly. You've been wanting to see an image of this particular guide, and now it showed up. So anyway, tell me your experience, but that was my experience channeling it and the sense of humor that the divine has when it talks to me. And yes, yeah, it, it was. I mean, I've, I've had um, several. Um, at the time, I didn't know that, you know, they were either extraterrestrial or outer terrestrial or, or whatnot, but as as you were giving me information, everything started making sense, especially the entity or the individual um, extra dimensional, um, definitely ET um, that has I've been communicating with or who has been communicating with me over the last seven to ten years. And I asked it. I asked the name because you 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 loaned me the pendulum and then I doused on it and I asked the question, is this so and so? And it said, yes. This is who I am, and it was like, wow! Finally, <laughs> I have a picture to go with. I have a picture to go with the name. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yep. But it was such a privilege to to bring that through. Now I know why he had a cloak and not wings. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> but but you know when you work with the symbol, because what I hope my clients will do, Paul, is I hope they will work with the imagery over time. Mm. You know, the circle, the moon, the or the sun, or the cloak, or what what different parts of the image. I hope people will work with them and continue to get messages. Yeah. So, for example, the dragon is also present um, as a symbol for you. And dragons are mythical creatures, of course, but they're very, very powerful. Um, and then, of course, we also have the color red, this, this kind of orangey red that your whole image came through on, which is kind of your first chakra, second chakra, colors, passion, and yeah. um, so any anytime I channel paintings, we also have to consider the background, because that's what all of the image is sitting on, and, and, and maybe that color means something to you or not, or maybe it's 
Um, but, but those are things I, I hope my clients will continue to play with as they work with the images that I bring through for them. Yeah. Now, we, we do have a um, – we have three testimonials that we'll be calling in. I am uh, getting my producer to get a hold of them now, our first one, which is uh, Dr. Doran. Doran. Yeah, Dr. Doran. Um, Dr. Doran Shalaz. So um, – He and, is a Reiki master. And um, I met him at a, at, a, at a metaphysical event, and he asked me to do a painting for him. I've done two, yeah. two different messages for him. Ah, this must be Dr. Dorn. Can you hear me? Pretty good. Hold on. I'm trying to get, get you in on our, uh, on our mixer. Can you hear me now? Yep, sure. Can. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome to the show. Doctor. How you doing? Thank you. Oh, pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. Pretty good. So you have a testimonial. Let me bring your uh, picture up on our up on our broadcast here so everybody can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is a um, it looks like it almost looks like a like a hat with a flame coming out of the top of it. Correct. Yeah. Just <laughs> a simple uh, candle, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but even though there, it's simple, there, there's actually a lot of meaning in this, and it really shocked me when I got the message because I was at a crossroads in my life, and I, I didn't know what message I needed at the time. But th this is what came through, and so Siobhan asked me to pick a color, and normally I would pick yellow or green, one of my favorite colors, but I picked blue, which to me indicated that this was a message from my mom so that was her color. Yeah, and then if we look at it, look at the foundation. There's some gold and red in there and there's some numbers like threes and sixes in there that will come to but i want to focus first on the candle and so the, the candle siobhan didn't know this but my brother and i a year earlier had started a candle business to uh -huh. try to make some extra money and it just had really flopped yeah and siobhan if you i don't know if you can tell but the flame originally was supposed to be like a blue green color yeah and then she felt inspired to color over it with the, the red and the yellow and to me that the green and the blue was the indication of the candle business flopping and that instead i had to focus on my new endeavor at the time which was crystal healing with reiki mm. and so now if we look at the color of the candle the color of the candle is purple which is the color of reiki and um so siobhan didn't know this and so i immediately associate this with my healing uh business that i'm doing yeah. and then at the bottom there are five can uh crystals and they're at the foundation of the the candle and i was doing crystal work at the time but what's interesting about this is that both are at the foundation and they're the number five and so the number five indicates like freedom curiosity curiosity change and new possibilities which is what my energy healing and crystal stuff was all about because i i'm a scientist i'm i have a phd in chemistry i teach college chemistry and so doing something like energy healing work with crystals and reiki is totally something outside of my 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 usual expertise here yeah and so the number five indicated that you know i was stepping something new and the crystals were my pathway into that and they supported my work into reiki which is like they're supporting the purple candle there mm. and so all that was telling me that it was a message from my mom that i was kind of on the right business here or not this i'm sorry on the right path here and what I was doing. And then uh, the colors too all kind of mimic that same message. They're about courage and passion, creativity. And they go in with the numbers of three and six as well, which are all over the place, which are also about uh, perfection and completion and harmony. And so all of that is in there to just support the message that this is the path that I'm on, that I am on the right path. And so it was very powerful for me. It was I believe from my mother to tell me that uh, I was doing what I need to be doing. That's awesome. That is awesome. It's a, it's amazing how how we can relate to these symbols and how how it, you know. And now, how, how did it? Um, now, your experience with uh, with with Siobhan and how she um, how she how she painted this and, and sitting with her doing this. Uh, what what would what would be the takeaway for our listeners and viewers? here is just be open to whatever the message is it may not necessarily be the message that you want to hear but it's going to be the message that you need to hear mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Thank she brings you. brings across the most important message that you need at the exact moment that you need it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> cool. I, and I'd like to add in there, uh, Dr. Uh, John Shalev, I'm, you know, the, it's, it's lovely to hear what, when you worked with the piece, the additional messages that came through, because I don't know anything about purple and reiki. Um, but um, the message that I heard beforehand was this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, because that candle has a torch. It's not just like a regular candle flame. It's a friggin' torch. Yeah. Um, and, and so, you know, we talked about copper and, and transmission, gold being the divine you know, uh -huh. spirit, the heavens like the sun, and red is passion. So I brought those pieces in, but then, as I hoped, he continued to work with it, and it's, it's, it's amazing um, what the message really was for him. And again, spirit doesn't give me the why this came in for the person. They have to do their work to decipher it. So thank you. Thank you, Doreen. Yeah, and I actually, well, I forgot about that, but it's interesting that Siobhan mentioned that because just as she was getting ready to say that she heard that song in her head, it actually started playing it in my head. And then she <laughs> said that she had heard this song, and I was like, holy crap, because that's playing in my head right now. So that, that was another, I, I'd forgotten about that. So thank you for reminding me about that part. <laughs> wow, wow. Dr. Dorn, thank you. Thank you for your testimonial, and you have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. You too. Thank, Thank you. you Take care, everyone. Be You're well. welcome. Peace. Thank you. Peace. So, yeah, that's that's cool. That, I mean, and that's when when the people that are sitting with you to get these readings and something clicks, like, boom, like right away. They they understand it. They, they see it, and then they feel it. They're like, wow, that, how that resonates with our mind, body, and spirit. Well, it's always my prayer that the spirit team is going to give them what they need that's an, an, an affirmation or something that's positive or something that says, we see you, we know you, we're here for you. Because we have all this amazing team around us all the time. And can we recognize the messages that are coming through from our guides and our angels? Yeah. Um, and they talk symbolically. I mean, throughout history, symbols have fueled our imagination and provided access to unconscious aspects of the universe, of our reality. And our guides talk to us symbolically, maybe animal encounters or colors or symbols. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or a song will play in your head. And that's your angel talking to you. Yeah. And so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to be that channel. And um, I'm a clear channel. I hear messages, and I'm willing and trust spirit that whatever I'm shown to draw is what I need to draw. And what's, and, what's interesting, too, uh, about being, being an artist like this and the work that you do, uh, um, and uh, like other mediums out there. Now, I, as a medium myself, you know, it, it's, I used to draw and paint a lot, but it, it's, that's a different type of channeling. It was just work for other people mm -hmm. and different, you know, advertising, this and that. And... But as a medium, I'll get symbols, I'll get some, you know, I'll get all this imagery and symbols and colors, and I'm, I'm just saying it. I'm just telling the person what I'm seeing and, and, and translating it. But what you do is you take that information and you actually put it on canvas. So you, basically you, you manifest it. You physically manifest it in front of of the person needing the reading or getting the reading. And that's, that's awesome. Yeah. And it's done within a very limited time. Yeah. So the six by six, like we just saw with Dr. Doran Shalav, uh, Reiki master, that's a 20 minute to 30 minute reading. So I get maybe 10 minutes to paint <laughs> and then we talk about it for 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the oh, eight by 10 are 40 minutes. Now we do have another, we got our second caller, uh, Vicki Gay. Um, and she'll oh, be Vicky. calling in in just a moment. Just wait until she gets the message. Have, uh, now, Vicki is... I'll wait till she gets on. She's, yeah. I said, stand she's by. A, ready. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's an internationally known psychic medium, which I've also met at um, uh, an event. And 
it was a privilege to channel. She asked me to channel a piece for her. I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> you know, when you're dealing with another psychic, like yeah. you, you know, like, oh, God, I'm a little nervous. Right. Um, and it was, uh, it was amazing. She did, um, I did a custom piece for her, and then I did a token for her. Mm. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, just uh, let her know. Call now, call now. Um, but um, I'll uh, I won't bring up the uh, the picture yet. She sent two, but I'm going to show the first one that she sent. Up oh, there she comes. Aha! Wait a second. Here we go. Hello, is this Vicky? Yes, it is. Hi, Vicky. Welcome to the show. Hey, Vicky. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm excited. Awesome. Awesome. So um, I'm going gonna, 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 gonna to show the first the first uh, picture that you sent me with the um, the the swirl, the um, the the blue one with the swirl with the tree on on uh, next to it. Uh, if um, we can explain explain this one. Okay, this one I just asked Siobhan to do whatever she thought I should have, so I I just left it up to her, and then she brought it to me. And I looked at it, and I was astounded. And she says, the swirling center, I was picking up that that's energy. And so I worked with that, and it was feeling very strongly. And then she says, the tree, I don't know. I think, I don't know why I put it there. I was just guided to put it there, the the tree there. I don't know if it's for balance or and I or what, but but she put the tree there. Yeah. And I was looking at it and I was like, my gosh, you know, I'm a psychic medium and I work with energy. And I also purchased an orgone generator. So that's going deeper into energy. And that's life force energy. Some people call it chi and all these different things. But she drew the energy there and life force comes from the tree. So the she she psychically put this together and it's very meaningful in my life and for her to be able to do that that's phenomenal uh so it it all pieced together and and i treasure this piece because it's something that i use all the time is tea life force energy and yeah. it comes from the tree and she's got it all there and and uh she intuitively put it together but didn't know what it was because it was very personal and it was for me. Wow. So, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. Now, um, that portal the, needed to be really light and, 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 um, and it, and it, it was really interesting to bring in all the, the light energy and then some iridescence. The tree came in last. It wasn't for balance. Um, it was that, and, and you can see that, that energy is coming off of the tree, <laughs> the top of the tree. Um, I did not know that she teaches this and that it was significant to her. Um, yeah. I had no idea. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, so, so this came from the heart and, and her psychic abilities. I mean, she is, she's fantastic. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so as a takeaway for um um for uh, our viewers and listeners um you have any um takeaway for um the work that uh or any of your experience Uh okay so so then okay so this was just a piece that she just like put it together because this and she found me she mm -hmm. found she she found my inner self Now the other one the one that's got the bird, the bird is a messenger and, and I am a psychic medium and I bring messages to people. And then the hair that looks like that my one hair. And, yeah, that one and, I don't, that one I didn't have in the, uh, Oh, you don't have, that I don't one. have that one yet, but, um, I can probably put that in during the, uh, um, during the actual broadcast. And, and the hair, uh, I've been told by a monk that I used to, that I do uh, sessions for, I do uh, psychic medium readings for him and he sees my hair and he's always telling me, those are your antennas. So uh. she has my antennas to the unseen 
and she has the bird, which is a messenger. And then she's got the symbol, which is uh, Omega. The sign for it, it is Omega, but to me, it's a div- for the divine dimensional travelers that we are that I do readings for. But that's wow. how, that's what this means to me. Yeah. And this, I, I was, uh, it, it was a logo that is in the works. Uh, and it, and it has to do with me being a psychic medium and it's got all the components in there. And, uh, she, she, it's priceless. She worked on that and has all the colors just right. So the thing is that one was very specific to what I needed and it's phenomenal. But then she took it to the next level with this tree and the energy that she did not know about me. And, and I just said, whatever, whatever you feel, whatever. And, and she, and that's what came from her. So uh, she's she's extremely uh, in touch with the unseen, and and her work is phenomenal. I love it. Awesome. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you Vicky, so much. The, thank you very much. The lo- yeah, um, Vicki Gay is an amazing um, psychic medium. Um, amazing, and thank you. It's a privilege to to create a logo kind of piece, one that you love that has all the pieces that are meaningful and to channel that other piece uh, of the tree and the energy. It was my privilege. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Vicki, thank you very much. You have yourself a wonderful, wonderful blessed day, my friend. The both of you as well. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So um I'll have that's, that's I'll awesome. have to send you that image. Yeah. Um yeah. I'll, I'll have to send that to you. I'll no, try I do, to do I it do right have now. The second one that was like <laughs> the images were coming in these two images I was like the first one so I had to upload it and get it into the file before you know before we we got on and it was like uh, I hit record and it was like ah all right. But uh yeah, I'll You didn't get in. Yeah, I'll I'll bring okay. it in on the uh the final the final draft. Um, so, okay. um, let's see. So we do have a, uh, a third, a third testimonial that, uh, is going to be calling in shortly and I get that, uh, photo ready. Um, Vesta, 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 Vesta Millard, uh-huh. Vesta Millard is a, um, globally known, um, voiceover master. So, um, I met her at an event. She was getting a bunch of readings from a bunch of people, and she sat down with me. Um, never met her before. Didn't know she was voiceover master. You know, she's amazing. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Wow. She agreed to to come on into a testimonial, and I did a reading. I did a reading for her just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Cool. Vesta, can you hear us? I can hear you. Yes, I can. Awesome, Vesta. Welcome to the show. Hey, Welcome, thank you, so thank you Vesta, for, for coming me. on. Awesome, oh, awesome. thank you. Is that Siobhan? That's her. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Siobhan. It's so nice to uh, talk with you again. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. I appreciate it. So uh, I was just I'm saying that you're a voiceover from... expert. I, I was yeah. just saying you're a voiceover expert and that I did a reading for you a couple of weeks ago at an event and, and that you, you said you'd come on and, and say, talk about your experience. Go ahead. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm um, going to show the picture. I'm going to bring it up here on the screen. And uh, so explain the uh, explain your experience uh, and uh, the meanings of this picture. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I want to say that I go to a lot of psychic fairs. And there's a whole host of tarot card readers out there. And, you know, I wanted something different. I wanted a different experience, something a little more personal, something a little more intimate. And for some reason, I sat down with Siobhan. And right away, I, I liked this beautiful lady before me because she was, she seemed very interested in who I was as a person. And that's part of her process is just getting to know you, but also, of course, getting the information downloaded from her spirit guides and my spirit guides. So the beautiful canvas, the token from the universe that she created for me, the first thing I noticed was she works from right to left. And I was very um, intrigued by that. She drew this beautiful bird, which we determined to be a kingfisher. 
Mm. And, you know, in researching the kingfisher, I learned that they are a tiny but mighty bird and they're fearless. Yeah. And the, what really struck me about a kingfisher is that when it comes to birds in the bird kingdom, usually it's the males that get all the bright feathers yeah. <laughs> to attract the female. And kingfishers are one of the few birds where it's reversed huh. and the females have the brighter feathers. So uh. that was fascinating to me. And then in the middle of the canvas, she created this um, flower of Aphrodite. And again, I didn't know much about that, but it, it represents powerful magic and sexuality. And of course, Aphrodite, everybody knows, is the goddess of love. But the real magic is about transformation mm -hmm. and the symbol of the six petals, which represents harmony and balance. And then the last thing that she drew on the canvas, painted, created, was this gorgeous elemental being. And elementals are nature spirits. And I just finished making a movie about fairies. And I'm thinking, how on earth could she have known that? Wow. Um, just <laughs> the magic of the canvas. It's what she does. It's like alchemy. She just reads your soul. And then just to watch her work, it, it was just amazing. You know, it, it was beyond my expectations. Probably one of the most different and interesting experiences I've ever had. Yeah. And all I can say is, you know, in a world of fortune tellers and, and mediums and all of those people, and not to detract from what they do, that's all great. But there's only one Siobhan Mays. There's only one woman that creates these incredible, it, it's like a soul portrait of who you are. Yeah. It just and it spoke to me and resonated with me on a level where I never even would have thought that could have happened. And I just treasure it. I love the painting. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. But it's like I said, like she captured my soul on the canvas. So yeah. <laughs> for that, I, wow. I I thank you, Siobhan. You are you are so talented and so amazing. You have a, a real gift. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying all of that. And, and it, was, it was it was so delightful to do that. You know that that being that came in when I did it, when I started it, it said it was an angel. Mm -hmm. It's like when, as I as I said earlier in the broadcast, I receive things serially. I get a piece until I paint that. I don't get the next piece, right? And so I'm I'm creating this being, and then it wants a triangle and a rectangle, and okay, uh, these elements, and and then it wants these little copper wiry legs and <laughs> when I turn it yeah, and and also the the flower of Aphrodite is also the seed of life which talks about something new is coming forward and, and being created and the seed of life is is not fully formed or fully painted which tells me it's coming in um, and it's so fascinating that the kingfisher is also a symbol of you know whenever you do whenever you receive symbols or paintings or something mm -hmm. that you're drawn to look at it and enjoy the image that it is, like the kingfisher. And that is the word I heard. I know it doesn't look like a kingfisher. Oh, but I will, tell my, I will tell my clients the words I hear. And I was told to tell you it was a kingfisher. I know nothing about kingfishers. And so I it was fun that you did your work. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun that you did some research and found out more. But then what you do when we're working with images is now look and see if it's a symbol, personal, or universal. So this symbol looks like a bird, but it's also a symbol of a bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. So then it's coming from above, so it's coming from the divine. So there's some, you know, if we look at it now as a bow and arrow as opposed to a kingfisher, it changes the mm -hmm. message of it. You can see it. And then where is it pointing? It's coming right into the center of the flower of Aphrodite. Mm. Um, and the seed of life, uh, and whatever it is you're creating, that's this incredible energy, and it's the blue and white and turquoise, so those colors are often to do with communication, this chakra mm -hmm. stuff. When I turned it sure, around to talk to Vesta, right? So when I mm -hmm. turned it around to talk to Vesta, I was telling her about the angel, and then I heard, oh, it said, I'm not an angel, I'm an elemental. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you are an elemental. That's right. So it wasn't until I was 
uh, uh, you know, talking. And, some, and sometimes when I work with and I'm doing a reading for a client, if a client tells me a little bit more about what the symbol means to them, I can deepen the reading. Because, again, spirit doesn't tell me the meaning. <laughs> Yeah. Or and, and coming from a, a broadcast background, you know, the wires, when you said copper, I, I see, you know, transmission or, you know, and, and it spoke to my broadcasting background, but also that I am making movies and I'm making movies about magical happenings. So I yeah. feel like I'm being uh, directed in a way. So when you said the bow and arrow, it's it, the bird seems to be flying with such intention toward the the flowering seed of Aphrodite, so it it just everything you did. I mean, I watched you create this piece, and and the thing is, the clients are part of the experience, yeah. and it, it, like I said, it's totally immersive. And the more I watched you, the more fascinated that I was with this whole process. And I that's when I realized I said, you know, this is something special. You mm-hmm. don't get this. You don't just walk into any psychic fair and get this you know, a, from a tarot reading. And again, exactly. I'm not I'm not demeaning what they do because that's important too. But mm-hmm. this is special. This is unique. And I would advise anyone, uh, you know, to to get a painting, to get this token from the universe from Siobhan. Yeah. Yes. And I, I agree, Vesta, that Thank when you. when when you say this is very unique and very and and I said this earlier too, this is very there is there is a charm. There is an intimacy. There is a very specific power that um, that these pictures and these things that uh, that Siobhan paints is because this is something like I go to a lot of psychic fairs. Everybody, you know, who goes to these fairs really doesn't have anything physical and personal to take home with them. That's true. And keep this is a token to take with you and keep with you and look at it every day for to remind us of the power that spirit has and what we have and where our path is going. Sure. And it, and look at it for inspiration. Yes. Uh, because I'm, I'm writing a, a script for my fourth film now. And I, you know, I've gotten stuck a little bit, you know, writer's block and all. And I, you know, just took the painting out today and I was looking at it and I was like, you know, I think the universe knows I'm doing this and it, it's going to help me. All things in good time. Don't get frustrated, you know. And and I I just love the kingfisher as as a tiny but mighty bird yeah. that is persevering. You know, it it doesn't say, oh, I'm the tiniest bird in the universe. Instead, it lives its life to the fullest. So you know, I I thank Siobhan for for everything that she gave me. Um, and like you said, Paul, it's it's a permanent reminder of where we are in the universe and where we have yet to go. Yes, absolutely. Vesta, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And um, let's keep in touch because uh, I've got some stuff, stuff to share. We got to talk. Oh, sure. <laughs> absolutely. Especially with film and, 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 and stuff you, like Siobhan. that. And thank you, I wish you continued success in all of your efforts. You are an amazing lady. And, and I'm very grateful for you. As, and I'm sure all of your clients are. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Awesome. Okay. Best care, you have a, I'm you so have grateful for my clients. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, and, and you as well. Bye now. Bye. Have a great day. Bye now. Wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and and, and you, that, you can and hear it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you can hear it in in all the all the voices of our testimonials today. Is you can feel the energy. You can feel the the personable energy and 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 memory and power that it gave everybody because it it all meant something this this it revealed i wouldn't say secrets because ultimately we know it's kind of like an affirmation it's kind of like affirming very specific personal things that are that are happening that are to come and or to prepare for (laughs) so yeah yeah it's awesome it's awesome like for Doran's, it was, you know, you're on the right path. This is the direction to go in. For Vicky Gay, it was an affirmation of who she, who she is mm-hmm. and what she teaches and what she connects with. Yeah. And the same for Vesta, uh, very personal. So I, I often find that when I channel artwork, there will be a piece of the art that comes in. Sometimes it's the last piece that will be a message for them 
the significant to them. Like, I, like I drew a. Okay, I drew an iris, and I talk about what the iris means and the color purple and the color blue, and so I can only talk about the shape and the image. But the client tells me every home that she's lived in, she's had irises. And that she, that's a personal flower for her that she loves. That means home and joy. She doesn't have irises where she lives right now. She's been thinking of planting some. So sometimes a symbol will come in on a reading that is a message for them that, oh, by the way, this is your reading. <laughs> <laughs> this, because this little thing that is meaningful to you is in this painting. <laughs> yeah. Not meaningful to Shabbat, not meaningful to me. So... I, you know, it's, I'm, and I'm glad people are, that are my, that the clients that have come on today, I'm glad they're working with the images. That's my hope. Yeah. yeah. There aren't very many people that do what I do as an, an intuitive artist. There are a few. There's one up in Michigan. There's one in Thailand. Um, the, there's not many of us that just do this. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as, now for, for those who want to um, um, reach you, Seek uh, seek your services or or contact you in any form. They can find you on Facebook, and they can find you on Facebook at Tokens from the Universe. Um, now, yeah. I do have uh, for the ticker on the bottom of the screen. I do have an email. I got. I do have your email address if you want to share that, and or your phone number, which is also on the Facebook page. Tokens um, from the Universe at gmail dot com. Nobody can spell my name. Paul. <laughs> so, people can spell tokens, plural, from the universe. Yeah. And that's okay. tokens from the universe at gmail.com, or you can search for me at tokens from the universe on Facebook, and you'll find Siobhan May's intuitive energy. Yeah, yeah. And there on you the, can find my phone number. And, and definitely on the Facebook page, uh, you do have a phone number there that they can, uh, that they can call you at. Absolutely. Uh, they can message me. They can text me. Email me. I do parties. I do private parties. It's for four people or more. I'll travel an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I also do studio pieces, which you'll, some of my studio work is behind me. And I'll do commissions for people. Normally those are larger pieces. If you have space in your home, the energy's not quite right, or mm -hmm, I, I can evaluate that and come up with um, different images and paintings. And we maybe can do a different show on on those commissions in the future. Now, um, does every does do the readings all have to be in person, or can you do it? You have done it remotely. Oh yes, I've done Zoom sessions. Awesome. I've even done a Zoom session where the person had to drop off because they had a crisis, oh. and I said, "Can I continue?" And she said, "Oh yeah, please." And then text me when you're done. So I did, and it was lovely. Once I get permission to connect, that person can go and be on the phone with the crisis or leave the session or walk away <laughs> yeah. and I will still receive images until it's until the message is complete. Wow. Now I have to tell my guides, I'm sorry, you've got 20 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes they want to stretch it out. I'm like, I don't have that much time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yep, I do parties. I do Zoom sessions and the readings are just as effective and then I ship it off. Um, there is a small shipping fee, not for the six by six paper, but the eight by ten is a small fee yeah. um, associated with it. Yeah, because the six the six by sixes are are the um, the paper like the cardboard or something like that, or really yeah, thin. It's colored cardstock. It's colored cardstock. Some of it has a linen texture on it. Yeah. So Dr. Dornisha loves was a colored cardstock. If you see CF, if you see my initials, that's the cardstock image. Oh, okay. uh, if you see C Maze, that's an eight by ten or a nine by twelve. Yeah. And if you go to my Facebook page, I have videos up there that will just do uh, with some music. That will show you what I do. And now you might look at the piece and go, oh, "That's nice," but believe me, it was significant to the recipient. Mm. And you should. And also, because just because I did a reading for you last year doesn't mean we don't have new messages. I've had people that adore him, got two messages from me in a matter of two months and they were very different pieces of work yeah very different messages and and i tell you too because as as a testimonial myself i'll, I'll uh, go back to um the image that uh hold on 
go back to the image that you had created for me is um you had no idea we did not we have not talked before you did this picture you really didn't we really didn't know each other we just we crossed paths on on the floor of uh several psychic fairs and you we talked briefly about you being on the show you know back and forth and then i i said something oh you know maybe maybe today i'll i'll go and get a uh a thing but we never at you did know nothing about me at all <laughs> other than we just like i said we just crossed paths and exactly um, also being a didn't vendor, know anything about you <laughs> yeah it's it's nothing and then when you got this and you showed it to me it's like whoa <laughs> wow <'Cause laughs> dra- and that's the thing even though it's not a dragon it it's it i have a lot of dragon symbology within within my life i was born on the year of the dragon of the chinese calendar which is interestingly really? significant um and huh. i've got dragons all over the house i got dragon a dragon sculpture dragon lamp and it, so that also kind of hits like boom that hits home going whoa wow <laughs> so yeah and i i i think i've only I don't think I've drawn a dragon before. I think I've drawn a griffin, mm-hmm. um, but I don't think I've drawn a dragon before. So that one's definitely yours. Yep. Yep. And we have <laughs> something crawling on the. Oh my good! Oh, we have a squirrel uh-huh. climbing the screen outside. So we've got a little squirrel energy happening. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Awesome. So yeah, I didn't know anything about you. I knew you had. You know, you did videos and you interviewed people, but I, I didn't know anything about you. And yeah, uh, I mean, we talked briefly about that I my, learned more. You know, yeah, about my podcast, and we talked briefly about your work. But uh, yeah, we we never talked any of anything, you know, aside from that. And then when I sat yeah. down, you're like, pick up a book because uh, you have a bunch in your booth. You have a bunch of um, books that people can just just sit there, you know. And just sit and go through and look at and cards and stuff and tarot cards and oracle cards and stuff. And just, you know, immerse your energy into that while you sit and kind of work on the painting. Yes. I, I mean, because I'm, cause I'm channeling for, you know, for what, 20 to 40, 20 to 30 minutes, 10 to, yeah. to 30 minutes. Let me get a little more light in here. Um and so I want you to entertain yourself because <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just sit- because I'm not talking to you. So some people yeah. are like, "Are you going to ask me questions?" No, I don't. I don't ask people yeah. questions. That's what unless that's, I'm told to ask yeah. questions. And that's what's really cool and intriguing too. You don't. A- you never ask me anything. You didn't ask. So what's your favorite color? Or what's this? Or what do you do on the weekends? Or what's your hobby? Or nothing. You didn't. A- you you got into it. You started painting, and that. And I was entertaining myself by looking through books and cards and. Yeah, that was, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, people, I, I have spirit animal cards, goddess cards, symbol books, so people can entertain themselves, do a reading for themselves if they wish while I'm channeling. I might ask which orientation of the canvas do you want, not always. Um, and I really prefer people not to tell me something that's significant, like so, such and such an animal is meaningful to me, because, you know, if they tell me that and then I paint and then it comes through, it's kind of like, it looks like I'm yeah. cheating, yeah. and I'm not. So it works better for me to not have people explain anything, and then I'll just receive the image, but then when I talk to them about it and present it, now I really do want them to share it with me. Now, they don't have to. There was one gal, her image was all about releasing. Everything was counterclockwise, the way the moon, the sun was rising, the sun is setting. I'm like, what is this? And the message was, Tell her it's about releasing, and I said so. The, the message is all about releasing, and I can talk about the individual components, yeah. which I did. And she started. I said, "Do you know what this is about?" And she said, "Yes." And she started to cry. That's why I always have tissues with me. She started, and she did not tell me what it was that she needed to release, um, but she knew. Yeah. And you know, it, it moved her that she knew that her guides, her angels, were saying what, whatever that is. Just let that go now. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It, yeah. It. What is uh, a takeaway you want to let our viewers and listeners mm-hmm. know? I, the whole show is that. 
<laughs> that was the biggest takeaway. The whole show was a takeaway. But what really? is there anything out there that um that you would like um everybody to know that uh anything extra? Well, token from the universe is just a little message. Just a little token, just a little something from from your guide mm -hmm. through me to you, from you to through me to to you. Yeah. And it's a personal painting and it's a reading. And there are symbols in there or colors that you can work with over time and the mes message may change. Then my intention is to help people on their path, provide illumination, validation, uh, connect them with their team of spirit guides, help them with their personal growth, um, understand their self, capital S, better. So. Because I'm a computer scientist, math is important to me, physics is important to me. So spirit is always taught through symbols. And in mystery school, we studied symbols through dream work, through alchemy, through religions, through rites and rituals through religions, ancient religions and temples, and the wisdom from that. Um, so I was immersed in a variety of types of symbolism. And all of this came from my doing soul work. Yeah. So when I was in a retreat, I would paint, you know, whatever was moving through me, I would paint it. And it turned out I did pretty well at it. And people would then come to me and say, what paint do you have, or et cetera. So um, that's how I got into this. And, and so I encourage people to follow themselves. And if they want something a little different from a regular tarot reading, which I do token, a totem reading, so I, read, I do cards with animals and I can do readings also, yeah. um, but this is this is something that I hope, and it seems like from the testimonials, uh, Paul, that it continues to move through the person and remind them who they are and the path they're on, and that they are seen and loved by Absolutely. their divine team. Absolutely, I vouch for that. <laughs> so, one. schedule a party party with me. Contact me for a Zoom session or in person reading. I would love, love, love to bring a symbol in for you. Absolutely. And for all of those who are watching, listening, and for those who are going to be listening but haven't watched the show on the YouTube channel, please go to the YouTube channel, Conscious Radio Network, and watch it. That way you can actually see some of the pictures and see, see what the, the imagery is. Um, and you can get some more information about Siobhan at, on Facebook uh, at Tokens from the Universe, T-O-K-E-N-S. Um, or they can email you at tokens from the universe at gmail.com. That's right. Cool. I look Go forward on. to hearing from you. And thanks for watching and thanks for interviewing me and giving me some time on your lovely show. Thank you. You are very welcome. And namaste, my friend. Thank you namaste. so much. And, um, I mean, we talked about, we talked about, Actually, it's been a while. It's been a while. We we started talking about your show and, and being <laughs> on here for a while. So, I mean, it took time, but I tell you what, you know something? The longer it takes to do something, the best recipe ends up coming out of it. So, yeah, I wouldn't have had awesome. some of these testimonials. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you, everybody, for watching Conscious Radio Network's uh, The Weekly Seance. And until, until then, we will see you next week.